we're putting some weed spray on the beans today and we're gonna put some nitrogen on the corn. Even on busy days, we still have time for shenanigans. So I've been cleaning up around here. You can't really tell and the water tank's right behind me. There's just something wrong with this thing. This is an old manure spreader. We just basically ripped off the back end and the apron chain and put the tank in. This thing needs some proper, um, what do I call it? Modification. Let's see, which paint should we use? So basically, it's not fair to call this thing a manure spreader anymore. We've taken the poop stuff off of it, and now it is a fertilizer cart. We're gonna repaint that, and we're gonna put its proper name right here to get your spray paint can working. Look at that, that is fine right there. Artwork. Yeah, I think we just added like $200 worth of value to that thing. That is fresh. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This might be the most immature thing I've done in a long time. Now we have officially have made this thing a honey wagon. We need the poo as my spirit animal. All right, now we gotta repeat steps one through three on the other side. Why am I so immature? All right, this side has a bar in the way. We can't have that. She's properly branded now. Boom. The New Holland Company would be proud. They don't want their name on this thing. Now it's ready to be put away for the winter, I guess. Before we can finish the video, we need to take a brief intermission and go back to last winter. Welcome back, America. Sketchy and, um, oh wait, that's sketchy. Oh, this is backward. Sketchy and Kathy got a new shelter last week. I built that with my own two hands. These are our pet cows. They're kind of hay burners, but we won't tell Michelle that. <laughs> what? Are you just yapping so you don't have to help me? I will help you. I, when it comes to the bulldozer, I will help. The bulldozer <laughs> is my area of expertise. And I'm just good for heavy lifting. Good work, Levi. Down. You found a snail shell? Let me see. Wow, that's a neat snail shell. It's like got tiger stripes on it. This thing hasn't run in like 10 years and we have to get this thing going and get it out of here. It's a nice snowy day. We're getting a snowstorm today. So it's a perfect day to chip away and try to get this thing at least started. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to move it because the tracks are like two inches sunk into the dirt. So I'm assuming that they're froze to the ground. There's a chance that because the ground is dry that it'll just crumble and that we'll be able to pull it out. We won't know until we try it. Uh, I got Aaron coming. He's the expert on all things uh, mechanical because I just break stuff and he fixes it. First thing we're gonna do is drain the fuel out of the fuel tank, which is right there because that's 10 year old fuel and it smells funny. There's two fuel filters on the thing. I'm gonna open up these drains and drain that out and see if we can drain the fuel tank right from this spot. That'll be the cleanest and easiest way to do it. Otherwise we'd have to crawl up under and try to find the, the drain line. This is what we're working with. That's supposed to be red. Pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I think that tank's like half full. Can you, can you go over there and open up the tank? Do you want to tell everyone what you want to name the bulldozer? Mm, no. He wants to name it Levi's T-Rex Bulldozer. Because I love T-Rex. Oh yeah. A little bit about this beast. It's got a 671 inline six Detroit diesel motor in it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a late 60s model because they only made them for a few years. Most of them have a roof or a roll bar and a roof, but somebody removed this one. You can see the plates where it would bolt on. I'm kind of hoping we can fabricate something because if that thing rolled over, you'd be dead. And not to mention, 
If you ever wanted to push like a tree or something, trees can kill you when they snap back and take your head off, whatever. So that's dangerous. I mean, if we didn't have a cage, I just wouldn't even use it to push trees because I don't want my head to get chopped off. We got the fuel canisters drained. We're gonna try pulling fuel out of the five gallon bucket because it'll just take a while to um, empty the fuel tank and we want instant gratification. This is the battery box over here. We're getting the battery hooked up. Well, we got a click out of the starter. Put the battery charger on it. The starter's not engaging. Alright, so the starter's it's clicking, good. but that's all we got. I don't know if the battery's not got enough juice. Maybe the starter's just stuck or something. I don't know. I don't really know how this stuff works. Yeah. Just make sure the engine's even going to spin over. Turn it. Now turn it off, man. This starter could be all rusted up too. Yeah, it's probably Nothing. We got a bad connection, so we're losing power here. So, all right, put this on the battery and see what happens. Yeah, no, the cables are on the battery post. Uh, what's it read? 13. 3. All right, so now put it on the cables. 12, 9. Alright, so we got a bad connection there at the battery. So we tested some different places and found that the battery terminals were, weren't giving it enough juice. So we're going to swap out some ends. I don't know if this one's going to be big enough. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Are you guys getting this and running this for me? Yep. We're going to even get decals that say Levi's T-Rex pulled over. I have a good idea. We can bring this thing all the way down the road to my house. Yeah, we could. We can use that big blade to push the snow. Oh, yeah. Cleaning up the positive terminal didn't really change anything. So we are going to try the negative terminal. So from watching the master, I've discovered that you can diagnose a battery connection issue by isolating certain issues with this thing, whatever you call that. Because we put the tester on the battery terminals, the battery wasn't dropping in, in voltage, but the at the starter it was dropping. So we, then we tested the clamps and the clamps weren't dropping, but when we tested the wire after the clamps, it was dropping. Wow, I feel so smart. Just don't file my fingers off. Push. Push hard. Wait, See how you're getting it. shiny metal? Keep going. So cleaning the rust off to get a better connection should definitely help. It was in pretty rough shape before. Hey, look right here. What's that? It's smooth. Oh, it's clean. Nice. It's smooth. It's ready for paint. Do you want to paint it orange or orange yellow? Orange is fine for me because I don't want my bulldozer cooking. You don't want to share it? Well, there's a machine. You can't share a machine. Why not? Because you need it. It's a real machine. You need it so much. Oh, okay. All right, test it at the wires again. Yeah. Okay, okay we're at 12.75. Now it's 12, still 12. On the cables? Yeah. All right, well, that's a good sign. Oh. All right, so we got some turnover that. action. Oh, wait, wait. Fuel pump suck it out of the. It should bucket. if we seal up that first filter fast enough. So that way the fuel pump will push or will suck clean filter and it's going to push it into the next filter. Maybe we can get some of that crap oh, yeah. flushed out. You might have to uh, blow on it while I'm cranking. I don't think it was going to start no matter what we did. <laughs> How the heck are we going to match that up to what we need? There's no part number just, on that thing. I was just searching online. The battery we have wasn't really charged up, and so we can't, can't really turn over the engine very fast. And we pulled the fuel filters out, and the one, the pre-filter was just like totally plugged. So it's like hard as a rock. Oof. That's what we're dealing with here. I ordered new filters and we've got a snowstorm and I don't even know if they're gonna come in for a couple days. So I officially declare that this project is on hold and we'll revisit it soon. 
The T-Rex bulldozer uh, adventure that started last winter is now finally culminating eight months later. Been tinkering with it a little bit more. Got a battery for it. So now we're gonna hook up our fuel apparatus and give it a whirl. Well, we got it going, but uh, the big cylinder on the front, uh, the seals must be completely gone on it because uh, as you can see, there's oil coming out. 